From drugs to weapons, inmates try to smuggle a lot of things into prison, but guards were surprised by what they found during a recent statewide prison lockdown. It could have been a major security threat. News 13's Catherine Mazone is in the newsroom with the story. Catherine? Well, that's right, Jessica. The state corrections department says this has never happened before to their knowledge. It now has the state caught up in a game of technological tag. It may look like a regular watch. But this watch has all the features of a phone. It's a very, very real threat. State Corrections Department Secretary Greg Markintel says Jeffrey Smith smuggled the watch phone into the Los Lunas prison. They don't know how. He's only been there for eight days. There's a pretty good assumption that he came in with a watch and it looked like a standard allowable watch. Prison officials see inmates smuggle in all kinds of contraband. But Markintel says a watch phone? Is this is our first. Markintel says the watch phone poses a real threat. They're searching the phone's records to see what Smith may have been doing with the watch phone. In the very worst scenarios, we've seen it over the last couple of years where there's been telephonic threats relayed out and correctional officers have been killed as a result of planned homicides. Last year, they found 13 cell phones in prisons. Mark and Tell says small phones are easy to hide in body cavities. So this is a good example of the, tech, the, the, the technological game of chicken that we play with offender populations. The Corrections Department says they have to stay one step ahead of the criminals as technology advances. They now have a new portable machine that detects cell phones. With the uh, portability of these monitoring devices, we can set up surprise moments. Now, last year, lawmakers made it a crime to have cell phones in prisons. Now, that goes for inmates, visitors, and staff. 